I'm going to talk today about what is factor analysis. You can think of applied factor analysis as the particle physics of social science. In, in this sense, if you took a phenomenon like personality, it would answer the question of how many different components of personality and what is their nature. The first person credited with producing a common factor analysis was Charles Spearman. Now, what he did was administer a number of tests to 36 boys. Uh, some of these tests were school subjects, like mathematics and English. Others were discrimination, say discrimination of weight or discrimination of sounds. Now, he had the idea that there was one general ability underlying scores on all of these tasks, plus abilities specific to each particular task. In factor analytic terminology, what, what he was saying is that there's one general factor, and in everyday parlance, we would call that factor intelligence. In fact, hundreds of studies subsequently have shown that Spearman was broadly correct. In more general terms, um, factor analysis answers four questions. If you've got a set of scores. Firstly, how many different components underlie those scores? Secondly, how are the components related together? Thirdly, how well are they measured? And fourthly, what are the components? That is to say, what is their nature? Here is an example of factor analysis. Uh, it's based on the five-factor model of personality. And here are the five factors in these boxes here. So that's conscientiousness, emotional stability, agreeableness, extroversion, and openness to experience. Now what this model suggests is that there are two factors at this level, stability, which loads on conscientiousness, emotional stability, and agreeableness, and plasticity, which loads on extroversion and openness. And it also suggests that at a further level that there is a completely general factor. That explains how many factors there are and how they're related. Now the question of how well they're measured is represented by these scores here, which are called factor loadings. Now the factor loadings can go from zero to one. So if we take the loading of conscientiousness on stability at 0.61, that is moderately well related. Now, the other thing that the factor loading can tell us is what is the nature of stability? So, for example, emotional stability loads very highly on stability at 0.72. So this tells us most about what stability is. The next question I want to answer very simply is how do we do a factor analysis? Uh, we basically start off with a set of data that looks like this. This contains the correlations between uh, the different factors of personality. So, for example, uh, this figure, 0.42, represents the correlation between extroversion and openness. All of these figures are correlations, and correlations basically can go from zero to one exactly in the same way as the factor loadings. Now, using very clever mathematics, from these correlations, we can estimate the factor model, that is to say the factor loadings that I've just shown you. Now, this is real data that was actually used to produce that factor model. Now, once we've got the factor model, we can do the whole thing in reverse. So we can take the factor loadings and we can work out what the correlations would be if those factor loadings were exactly correct. And this is what we call the model implied correlation matrix, which is down here. So we start off with the sample correlation matrix. We estimate the factor model, and then we do the reverse. So we take the factor loadings and generate a correlation matrix. 
Now this is quite clever. We can then take these correlations away from this. So for example, that is 1, that is 1, so the difference is 0. These are called the residuals. Now if these residuals are all very small, which in this particular case they are, we can say that our factor model is a plausible model of the data. These are just some very basic principles underlying factor analysis. If you want to know more about it, then you can consult my talk on the subject on the same site.